This is a partial lunar eclipse that was visible in September 2006 in all European, African, and Asian countries. Pretty magnificent, isn't it? What's more important is that you'll be able to witness a similar eclipse in just a few days. I'm talking about the upcoming partial lunar eclipse that will take place on October 28th, 2023. It's an event that you certainly won't want to miss. Therefore, carry on watching this video in order to find out whether this celestial occurring is visible in your area and how to see it without any optical instruments whatsoever. I promise, will be very interesting. Hi there, Mikhailo is here. First of all, why do we call it a partial lunar eclipse and, you know, just not a regular total lunar eclipse? So, you'll probably know how eclipses occur. We always need the sun, the earth and the moon aligned in such a way so that our natural satellite moves into the shadow of Earth. Thus, the sunlight becomes blocked by our planet and it cannot reach the Moon. During a total lunar eclipse, the Moon is fully covered by the Earth and it can take on a reddish hue due to the Earth's atmosphere scattering and refracting sunlight, creating the blood moon effect. In contrast, a partial lunar eclipse happens when our natural satellite is only partially covered by the Earth's shadow, resulting in a not full coverage of the Moon's surface. A very interesting fact! The full moon of October is also known as the Hunter's Moon because it signified the period of the year when the Moon was exceptionally luminous for hunters to track and pursue game as they readied themselves for the coming winter. Now you can do whatever you want with this information. Yes, a partial lunar eclipse may not be as captivating as a total one because, as I said, the moon will be covered only partially by the Earth's shadow. However, I believe that this event is still pretty captivating to witness, even if it's not a total one. For those who are patient observers, it's possible to see the gradual darkening of the moon's surface. So, how to see this astronomical event? First, it'll start on October 28th at 1802 UTC. If you need to convert the coordinated universal time to match your time zone, you can use this time converter. Also, you can use an amazing website called timeanddate.com since it offers an excellent lunar eclipse overview. By simply clicking on this map, and then typing the name of your city, you can easily determine if and when the eclipse will occur. This is a lunar eclipse visibility map, by the way, which can help you find out whether the eclipse will be visible from your area. Depending on your location, you may fall into one of three categories. Those in areas where the eclipse won't be visible next week, those in regions where a partial lunar eclipse will be seen, or those in locations where only a penumbral lunar eclipse, a fainter version of the eclipse can be observed. A penumbral lunar eclipse occurs when the outer, lighter part of the Earth's shadow partially covers the Moon, resulting in a slight shading of the lunar surface. Since a penumbral lunar eclipse is really hard to see, I'd recommend you start observing the eclipse only when the partial phase begins. On timeanddate.com, this information will be displayed here whenever you type the name of your area. Lunar eclipses are relatively slow events, so take your time to watch the moon as it gradually darkens and then regains its brightness. Choose a place without light pollution and tall city buildings because a wide, dark, open night sky will make your experience even better. Also, last time when I observed the lunar eclipse, I did so using a telescope. This helped me reveal more details of the shadow's progression, so you should try to do that as well. The maximum of the eclipse will take place at 12.14 UTC on October 28th, and then it will end at 22.26 UTC. After this partial lunar eclipse ends, 
the next partial lunar eclipse will take place only in September 2024. Therefore, if you get the chance to observe this celestial event, I certainly wouldn't want to miss it. Unless it's cloudy in your area. The last months of 2023 will bring other astronomical occurrences, such as the opposition of Jupiter and the Geminids meteor shower. To stay informed about upcoming celestial events, be sure to be subscribed to this channel. And as always, thank you for watching very interesting videos. Bye.